iron deficiency anemia. Definition of anemia. It is defined as decreased concentration of hemoglobin and red cell mass compared with that in age-matched controls. So to have an idea about this, we should know the normal value for different age groups. The highest level of hemoglobin and hematocrit is usually found in the cord blood. As you can see, it is 16.8 with a range of 13.7 to 20 and a hematocrit of 55 with a range of 45 to 65. Then it will decrease starting by two weeks until we reach the age of three months where the hemoglobin is at 12 uh, and this is called physiological anemia of infancy. Up to the age of six months to six years, it is 12, and then by seven to 12 years, the hemoglobin is 13 and the hematocrit is 38. What happens when there is anemia? It means physiology of anemia. There will be tachycardia, increase in the cardiac output, and shift of the oxygen dissociation curve to the right as well as increase in the 2,3-diphosphoglycerate within the red cell till the hemoglobin fall to a level of 7 to 8 gram per deciliter where pallor become apparent in the skin and the mucous membrane. Anemia can be classified according to the mean corpuscular volume, it means morphologically in two, three groups. When the MCV is less than 75 femtoliter, it is microcytic anemia, it means the MCV is low. When the MCV is normal, 75 to 90 femtoliter, it is normocytic anemia. And a high MCV, more than 90, will end with macrocytic anemia. <coughs> Another classification is the physiological classification. We have two groups, either anemia caused by decrease in the hemoglobin or red cell formation, or due to increased red cell destruction or loss, it means hemolysis. What about the general clinical manifestation of anemia? It is very important to discover anemia while the patient is asymptomatic and this is usually done during screening. Once the patient is symptomatic, we have two groups, either stable or critically ill. The stable one, the patient will have pallor in the skin and the mucous membrane, easy fatigability, and poor concentration, while critically ill have severe pallor, congestive heart failure, and irritability or drowsiness. This picture shows the iron in hemoglobin and hemoglobin structure, usually uh, in the red cell we have four hemoglobin chain, two alpha and two beta, we have a uh, heme group and iron binds to four unit of oxygen. What about iron absorption? The main site for absorption is the duodenum, where most of the drugs are absorbed as well as from the upper jejunum. Vitamin C taken with the iron will increase its absorption by reducing dietary ferric to ferrous iron, while caffeine and other lancine group decrease its absorption. Iron deficiency is the most common cause of anemia worldwide. Globally, it is estimated to be 30 to 50 percent of the global population. And most of these individuals live in developing countries. It is the commonest type of hypochromic microcytic anemia. To understand uh, the process, a full-term newborn baby our infant contain about 0.5 gram of iron, while the adult contain 
5 gram of iron. This change in the quality from birth to adulthood means that an average of 0.8 milligram of iron must be absorbed each day during the first 15 years of life. Small additional amount <coughs> is necessary to balance normal losses of iron by shedding of the cells. It is therefore necessary to absorb approximately 1 mg daily to maintain positive iron balance in childhood. Because ten, less than 10% of dietary iron is usually absorbed, <coughs> a dietary intake of 8 to 10 mg of iron daily is necessary to maintain iron level. During infancy, when the growth is rapid, the 1 mg of iron per liter in the, cow, in the cow milk and breast milk make it difficult to maintain body iron. Keeping in mind that iron in the breast milk is absorbed 2 to 3 times more efficiently than iron in the cow's milk. Nonetheless, breast fed infants are at risk of developing iron deficiency anemia without regular intake of iron fortified food by six months of age. Now we are going to talk about causes of iron deficiency. The most important and the commonest cause is inadequate dietary intake of iron. And this is especially seen in infant in the postnatal period as Neither breast milk nor cow milk contain adequate amount of iron. In addition, high carbohydrate diet, excessive milk intake more than 24 ounces per day. Usually, the onset of this iron deficiency anemia starts by 9 to 24 months of age and being earlier in a preterm baby because the stores of the preterm baby is much less than that of the full-term babies. The second cause is increased physiological requirement, and this is seen in infancy during rapid growth and can be aggravated by prematurity, infection, and delayed mixed feeding. Another period of rapid growth is that of adolescent in both sex plus Menstrual loss in female, intense exercise conditioning as in competitive athletes in high school. The third cause is chronic blood loss, and this is usually seen in older children who are older than two years of age. The loss may be in the, from the GI tract due to the following causes, milk protein inflammatory colitis, hookworm infestation, H. pylori infection, aspirin ingestion, presence of hiatus hernia, Michel's diverticulum, polyps or hemangioma, presence of ulcerative colitis and chronic diarrhea. The second uh, system for loss is the urinary tract as in chronic or recurrent hematuria in hemophiliac patient, it may be from the skin as in those with eczema, and it may be caused by massive blood loss anywhere in hemophiliacs, for example. The fourth cause is malabsorption syndromes, mainly celiac disease, cystic fibrosis, and fever for any reason. Now we are going to talk about the clinical feature. Most children with iron deficiency anemia are asymptomatic and are identified by routine screening test done by 9 to 12 months to 12 months of age by doing the RDW which is the red cell distribution width normal hemoglobin values vary according to the age gender race and method of testing whether it is capillary or venous the most important recognized clinical sign is that of pallor but is not usually visible until the hemoglobin reaches to a level of 7 to 8 gram per deciliter. 
Mainly, pallor is noticed in the palm, palmar creases, nail beds, and conjunctiva. And usually, parents often fail to note that their child is pale because they are living with him all the time, but it can be detected either by a visiting friends, relatives, or doctors. Older children may report cold intolerance, fatigue, exercise-induced dyspnea, or decreased mental acuity. In mild to moderate iron deficiency anemia, when the hemoglobin is 6 to 10 gram per deciliter, compensatory mechanisms occur including increased level of 2,3-diphosphoglycerate and shift of the oxygen dissociation curve to the right may be so effective that a few symptoms of anemia will be noticed apart from mild irritability. Once the hemoglobin becomes less than 5 gram per deciliter, irritability, anorexia, and lethargy will be more, plus a systolic flu murmur can be heard, and if the hemoglobin continues to fall, there will be tachycardia and high output cardiac failure. Iron deficiency may have non-hematological systemic manifestation. Because both iron deficiency and iron deficiency anemia are associated with impaired neurocognitive function in infancy. And iron deficiency anemia also associated with irreversible cognitive defect later on. Some studies suggest that there is an increased risk of seizure, strokes, and breath holding attack in children with iron deficiency anemia and exacerbation of restless leg syndrome in adults. Both iron deficiency and iron deficiency anemia have the potential for adverse neurodevelopmental outcome. Other non-hematological consequences of iron deficiency include PK, which is the desire to ingest non-nutritive substances and pacophagy, which is the desire to ingest ice. PK ingestion can result in uh, ingestion of lead-containing substance, and the outcome is concomitant lead poisoning, which is known as plumbism. In school age children, there is impaired learning ability and poor school performance. Also, there is increased susceptibility to infection because of impaired cell-mediated immunity and decreased bactericidal effect of phagocytosis. Now we are going to talk about the investigation. Of course, the hemoglobin is low, below the accepted for age, as well as there will be decreased hematocrit, MCV, MCH, and MCHC, with increase in the RDW, Normally, it is 10 to 14 percent, and this is very important to differentiate from thalassemia, which is manifested at the same age group, but the RDW will be normal. In addition, there is reduction in the red cell count, and the blood smear reveal hypochromia and microcytosis when the hemoglobin is less than 10 gram per deciliter. The reticulocyte count relatively low or normal, and platelet count high or low. The serum iron is low and the iron binding capacity is high with a low ferritin less than 12 nanogram per mil, while the transferrin saturation reduced to less than 10% and the free iron erythrocyte protoperforin is elevated. One should look for presence of occult blood in the stool and should check for lead level. It was found that therapeutic trial of iron caused reticulocytosis, which peaked between five and seven days. Bone marrow examination revealed no iron stain. An increase in the hemoglobin more than one gram per deciliter after one month of iron therapy is usually the most practical means to establish the diagnosis. 
This uh, slide show a normal blood film. Uh, you can see normal RBCs, few platelet, and this is a lymphocyte. If a patient is having iron deficiency anemia, the red cell become smaller than normal and have an increase in the central zone of pallor. This indicative of hypochromia, it means less hemoglobin in the red cell, and there will be microcytosis, which is small size of the red cell. Also, there is an isocytosis, it means variation in shape and poor uh, in size, and poor kilocytosis, which is variation in shape. And as you can see in this slide, the number of the platelet count is increased. It means there is thrombocytosis. There is also rule of formation and there is pencil-shaped red cell. This slide uh, is a bone marrow stained for iron using Persian blue stain. The blue discoloration on the left indicate iron presence in the bone marrow, while on the right you can see no iron stain in the bone marrow. It means severe iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia should be differentiated from other causes of microcytic hypochromic anemia, thalassemia syndrome, lead poisoning, sideroblastic anemia, and anemia of chronic infection. Treatment. First of all, very important to have a nutritional counseling to the family. You should advise the mother to maintain breastfeeding for at least six months of life and use iron fortified infant formula. Restrict milk intake to one pint per day. Supply iron to low birth weight baby and preterm baby as early as two months of life and full term baby as early as four months of life in a dose of two milligram per kg per day, which is preventive dose. Facilitate iron absorption by taking vitamin C rich food such as citrus fruit, tomato and potatoes. Give meat fish and chicken, which are iron-rich diet, and avoid tea, phosphate, and phytate as they prevent iron absorption. What is it? To have an idea about phytate-containing diet, phosphorus is stored in a plant-based food as phytic acid. When phytic acid binds to other minerals such as manganese, zinc, or iron. The two form are compound for the two form a compound known as phytate. The phytate containing that uh, diet including nuts, whole grain, seeds, and beans. After that we should start iron therapy in a higher dose than the preventive dose using a dose of 4 to 6 mg per kg per day, mainly ferrous sulfate, which is uh, containing 20% of elemental iron, up to 200 mg per day maximum. If ferrous sulfate not available, we can use ferrous gluconate. Iron should be given between meal with vitamin C containing juice. And check reticulocyte count one week later and the hemoglobin two to three weeks later, where the level should reach midway level. Two months usually need to achieve normal hemoglobin and another two months of therapy for replacement of the stores. After that, we should reduce the dose to two milligram per kg per day for another two months as a maintenance dose. Injectable iron, whether IV or IM, are available but should be avoided only in the presence of malabsorption or poor compliance it can be given. Only low molecular weight iron dextran is U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved for the use in children with iron deficiency.
The blood transfusion is indicated when the hemoglobin is less than 4 gram per deciliter. It means we have severe anemia in the presence also of infection and depletion. What happens when you supply the child with iron? Within 12 to 24 hours, there will be a replacement of the intracellular enzyme, subjective improvement, decreased irritability, and increased appetite. Within 36 to 48 hours, there is initial bone marrow response, erythroid hyperplasia. Within 48 to 72 hours, there will be reticulocytosis, and within 4 to 30 days, there is increase in the hemoglobin level by 0.5 gram per deciliter per day. And within 1 to 3 months, there will be a replacement of the stores. Sometimes the, we give iron to the child, but we notice that there is failure of therapy. This may be due either to poor compliance, it means the child is not taking the medication, poor absorption, it means there is malabsorption syndrome, persistent unrecognized blood loss anywhere, coexistent disease as hepatic and renal failure, infection and malignancy, concomitant B12 or B folate deficiency, and inadequate dose of iron, the use of certain medications that interfere with iron absorption, including antiacids, proton pump inhibitors, histamine 2 blocking agents, bran, tannins, and phytate, associated lead or aluminum toxicity, wrong diagnosis, such as thalassemia, hemoglobin C and E disorder, anemia of chronic disease, sickle thalassemia, hemoglobin S, C disease, lead poisoning, and iron refractory, iron deficiency anemia, and other rare microcytic 